Well, there are a lot of different birds here where we go hiking. I have no idea what kind of bird that is, but that's pretty cool. Not that far away from us. Alright, well, it's his backside, so he doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> this is one thing that Trouble likes to do, is he likes to come here. We're at Rockledge Ranch, and he likes to sniff. And this is one of the little trails that we can find. They have a... This is an old historic site, so they have a lot of old houses that are still here, and when they have events, they actually have uh, people inside of them dressed like the period that they're from, and you can actually go inside them. It's kind of cool. See how they lived. And dogs have to be on leashes on the, in this area, that's why I've got them on the leash. And he's kind of leading the way. Um, you may have seen some of these pictures before from my Facebook, but uh, Rockledge Ranch is actually uh, very close to the Garden of the Gods, and those rock formations there in the distance are from the Garden of the Gods. And that's one of the trails that we go hiking on, because uh, these little hiking trails actually cross over into a valley, which actually looks really cool. Once we get there, and uh, you get to see the valley and the rock formations. And there goes Trouble sniffing again. And it's spring, believe it or not, and there's still snow on the ground because we had some snowstorms recently. And we're actually supposed to have some more snowstorms this week. Hopefully not as bad as last week. All right. And on we go. Okay, so this is a lake that they've got here, or a pond, I guess, and the stream goes way down there. And it's a cool lake, or a pond, I guess. Um, we, my wife and I, sometimes come here and sit on a bench. And there's this little, I keep on like using the word little, there's a creature <laughs> of some sort that likes to swim in this lake and all you see is his head. So we kind of joke around and say it's Nessie. But I haven't seen him lately and I actually did see a turtle over here the other day, and I got a really good picture of it. I like that tree, because of the way it reflects on the lake. I don't know if you want to go in there, Trouble. But there's also a farm here, and in the distance they got some sheep. And I think there's a cow and a couple horses. Here's the farm, and the sheep are eaten, and my dog is trying to tingle me up in the leash, and they've got some chickens, chicken there, chicken down there, oh and there's a sheep, and there's a cow. Hello there cow. How's it going there? And they do kind of have a lot of cool looking trees here. It's either a person banging it or that's a woodpecker. Shed. I'm 
So this is a uh, historic orchard. This has been made possible by donations. Uh, and trouble is... Oh my gosh, if you look way off in the distance, there is actually some deer right there. And that's a woodpecker. Oop, where'd they go? Right there. Better vantage point, one of them is like looking right at me. Turn the camera. Hopefully, we're recording. I can't quite tell. But they're like right, right down there. Can't you not? They don't care. They've been kind of like looking at me a little bit, but uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't want to get any closer, especially with trouble, because who knows what he'll do, but we got deer. Really neat. Thank you, Mother Nature. Yeah, we got deer looking right at us. That guy. Zoom in on him. There we go. Hi there, buddy. Or ma'am. Okay. So I highly recommend bringing a video camera with you when you're going hiking in the wilderness. Because then you miss out on stuff like this. Trouble. <laughs> 